Hello my friends and today I have something different right usually it's all about tier but there is another there are the sprites right released at the same time and uh, now they have come into my hands not like that and we're going to do uh, yeah some sprite content hope you like it so let's get right into the profile starting with the obvious blue boys we're maxing out on uh, yeah the the best sprite main deck card I'd say I mean jet is pretty good as well two is enough though for most cases then one carrot and one red to cover our bases in terms of spells and monster negates. Uh, pretty, pretty standard, honestly. You could consider Pixis, but uh, yeah, that card is fine, but yeah, not as good as the others. Then to the spells, obviously maxing out on the starter. Then a diverse lineup of smashing, gamma burst and the double cross. Um, yeah, I mean, the gamma burst not always the best card but actually since we play like all level twos in this deck it can come up right protecting for example your sp or your ip right that they uh, are not as easily uh, attacked over yeah that's one thing uh, it bites a bit right in the offensive capabilities with some of the other cards that we might play so this one is a bit of an iffy one right it's uh, definitely one that could be cut uh, for different cards the double cross and smashing uh, to have these as options though for uh, other potential searches of jet if you don't have to go or can't go into starter um yeah i think that makes quite a lot of sense i mean double cross also being a trap is just pretty nice then we continue with pretty standard stuff i'd say with uh, the nimbles right nimble angler nimble beaver uh sometimes you want another uh, third angler but most of the time you don't so uh yeah three and two pretty standard pretty good now coming to something that is a bit more up and coming if you've looked at the list which you probably have at this point but uh yeah if you are new this is a mini toad ice barrier engine whatever you want to call it um not only is the uh, toad or one card combo right or one card starter to some extent uh not only that but obviously also with this being an aqua this being an aqua these two being level twos you know they make the totally awesome so um yeah you have to play these two let's call them bricks actually like if you have access to this it's not that bad if you can discard it uh, because you can always revive it because if this hits the graveyard it searches the continuous spell and the continuous spell revives an ice barrier monster uh, on activation so this mills this this then searches this and the spell revives this and then you have the two level uh twos all to the aquas depending on where you want to go. Uh, we talk about that later, just a bit of an explanation beforehand. Uh, yeah, pretty nice, obviously a bit more of a bricky thing, but uh, again, the normal summon of the Ice Barrier card can also be the level two that you need to start your sprite combos. Then we have a few cute Melfis, uh, Kati and Pinny. You could also consider Wally, but honestly, these two are the best could obviously go for a larger Melfi engine but we don't have the space and I think these two just do the job completely fine. Then a one miscellaneous card, uh, Iperia, if you have like other ideas this could be a cult buy as well but uh, yeah I mean I had the Iperia lying around and uh, testing it. It's, it's nice, it's nice to have right you can draw into like all kinds of extenders with this deck uh, because this is yeah I mean it's interesting right because we can draw into runic cards, right? Obviously, uh, not stun or uh, white woods runic. This is well a bit of an older idea, right? Combining the level twos from Hugen with our sprite cards, and uh, yeah, the two fountain maxing that one out, and then I think the four best runic uh, cards: tip, destruction, freezing, freezing curses, and flashing fire. Um, yeah obviously the interruptions in our opponent's turn instead of playing hand traps instead of playing bolt breakers we play this um i mean the sprite and level two engines they already have so much gas right as long as you get a body on board uh you can just continue to special out and uh, profit off that link away xe away you know how sprite works the runic cards enable to uh, do just that without do using your normal summon which is phenomenal and then i mean like the power of runic cards cannot be underestimated uh, the banishing, especially right now, is uh, very cringe, but also quite good. Then coming to the extra deck, we have two Gigantics. Uh, yeah, you need to 100%. A third one 
comes up at some point, but uh, yeah, not too often. Two is uh, two is absolutely fine. Same goes for Toad. I think one is all right. Uh, you again, you could find the space for a second one, but honestly, one just does the job. Then uh, one must be of the forest. Uh, this is our like generic link to that gives us access to all Melfi plays. Um, yeah, I guess if you play the man Melfi's, this is mandatory. Then instead of like an ex toad and a third gigantic, I'm playing downward into Zeus. Um, yeah, I think it's worth it, right? The board clear and so on and so on is uh, definitely something that is worth to consider. So going second options like cutting this for like Typhon and again, Another gigantic something like that uh, maybe that's the way to go i'm still not 100 on this but so far this has worked well and this is also like tested by time um yeah enough of that we go to the links obviously the sprite sprint the absolute baller card of this deck uh, which <laughs> obviously sprite elf would be legal but uh yeah i don't know konami is against power of the elements konami is against fun they want us to play fucking Fiendsmith Snake Eye cards for all eternity. And uh, yeah, well, whatever. Sprite Sprint, IP, SP. Apo, I'm not too sure about this one. I very, very rarely summon this. So again, this could be uh, another copy of something else. Oh, T Elements feature. Um, yeah, this could be another copy of other cards or another like generic card. This could also be the Typhon. Then you can include both options, right? But uh, yeah, regardless, putting this to the side. Now our Synchros, uh, the Mary Melfi. Yeah, Mary Melfi should be the English name. Um, this one is obviously where, like, the, the, what the end goal is of the Melfi strategy, right? You go into the XE, search the Melfi cards, the Melfi is Melfi around, and then you get the Mary Melfi in our, your opponent's turn to bounce a card. And uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Obviously the Mary Melfi, if you have them on board, they can also, I think, bounce a second card, if I remember correctly. Usually you don't keep them around. It's two bounces is nice, but uh, going into like link plays with the Melfi, well, whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is the bounce. And if you don't want it, you can also go into the another level four, uh, the Herald of Arclight. Pretty good card, nothing new. Uh, yeah, I don't need to explain what he does. And then I can shove it a bit to the side. Two Hugin. Yeah, the very important level two. And I mean, it also searches Runic Fountain, pretty good. Protects your other cards, right? It's it's a good card. Uh, it usually doesn't stay on the field though, for its protection effect to be relevant, or its recursion or whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is nice. And then lastly, Gary. It's uh, a level four, not a level two, sadly, but uh, yeah, just one is I feel pretty mandatory to recur your Runic Fountain if it uh, yeah, leaves the field. Then you can get it back. Uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, again, the Appaloosa. And uh, these two here, yeah, maybe debatable if you uh, like value something different, you can put that in there. But uh, we spewed a bunch of bodies, so making an Appaloosa if uh, some effects are negated, right, with the bodies um, is still, I think, a fine decision. And again, this helps uh, quite often. And we make the um, exist for the downward also very often as well. Okay, now let me show you two combos. The one is uh, the one card combo of our swap frog, and the other one would be uh, yeah an omega full combo, um, like I guess best case or whatever. But uh, I mean even the one card combo is pretty good. Let's normal summon our toad. Toad is going to send the ice barrier, as I mentioned, into the grave, which activates its effect, and then we'll get you the uh, spell card, activating the spell to revive, and now. Um, two aquas, right? You could go into the uh, toad, right? And now you would be completely hand trap uh, free due to the Omni negate and so on and so on. Uh, if you have more follow up in hand, you can now on two summon or rather three summon, uh, do whatever you want. Uh, that is a pretty good option if you ask me. But in this case, we're going to link these two away into the Sprite Sprint. Say hello, hello, hello. And then Sprite Sprint obviously is going to send the Angler and then Angler effect. It's going to bring us out to Beaver. Then these Beaver, we're going to overlay them into a gigantic. 
detach one, again take effect, right? Special out the jet, for example. Can leave the zone open, it doesn't really matter. They're not staying on the board for long. And then jet effect, uh, not jet, blue effect, special out the jet, jet effect, at the sprite starter. And obviously if you already had like blue jet or starter or whatever, then you can obviously pivot into the other uh, sprite monsters or smashers or double cross, all that, all that stuff, right? And then here we can uh, overlay these into the merry merry, no, not merry, into the melfi of the forest. Detach one, you could go for jet or blue. Yeah. I mean, it does not matter too much. And then you're going to add Kati to hand. And then you can activate starter to get whatever you want. Red usually is the better option, um, but uh, yeah, you have to decide. And then again, we can leave the uh, Mary Melfi of the forest on the on the field or we uh, well, do not in this case we link them off and into IP and in our end phase the effect of Kati activates we special her so this would be uh, one version of the end board uh, let's start with the obvious you can obviously leave the two um, exes on the field that makes a good amount of sense right because then Sprite Sprint, for example, can get its mounts, uh, right? And the uh, Melfi of the Forest can also do their thing in our opponent's turn. So that is not nothing. So then we have the decision, right? IP into SP or keeping like the Xyz or like the Sprite Sprint, for example. Uh, yeah, that is one thing. Uh, if the opponent normal summons, special summons, anything, Kati will activate, bounce back to hand, add Penny. Pinny's effect will activate to summon and then the next effect to quick synchro with the Kati in hand to make the Mary. And then Mary will activate to uh, bounce the monster, right? So uh, the Kati stuff is uh, one interruption, red one bounce, pretty nice. And then we have the red monster negate. Obviously you can't uh, tribute the Melfi since it's uh, level four, but you could uh, obviously go for the sprite sprint and then IP and the Mary go into SP. But you have to, uh, you have a few options here with this. And again, this could also not be on the field at all. And you could have uh, kept the Mary uh, and the and the sprint. Let's just uh, say uh, put them down. You could have kept these here on the board um, and then easily have the sprite bounce again. And then Mer uh, and then the red has. An easy target right the gigantic or the melfi depending on what you don't need anymore uh, to destroy for the monster effect again it's a matter of choice if you want to go into generic powerful links or if you want to keep the miscellaneous uh, XD cards around but again we count one two and then depending on where we go from there's another two interruptions so uh, one card combo into four different interruptions here um, that is pretty good I'd say Okay, and now let's go with something that is like, I don't know, full combo, best combo or whatever, uh, which is best case would be blue, but this could be also another way to go into the sprites and then, well, destruction uh, as an example for a runic spell. So activate that and we are getting our Hugen. A cool thing with Hugen is um, obviously you want to activate the effect. In this case, we're not doing it since we're not reliant on the runics in with this test hand. Uh, but you can trigger the effect of where is he of the angler with uh, Hugen. So uh, yeah, you can search the field spell and also get the extra summons out from the nimbles. That is very amazing. Regardless, we have Hugen on the board. Now we can special the blue blue effect when special. We can get access. Jet, jet when special gives us access. We could go for starter. We could go for this. Um, it really depends. I'd say with this, just getting the uh, different sprite names onto the board is usually better than just double cross. But 
depending on the matchup you can obviously go for that now with this we can go and just just continue to play just very similar make the sprint first sprint is going to dump the, the angler angler effect oh, you can't really see that that sucks angler effect right it's going to summon out the beavers the beavers and again we have so many monsters onto the field now let's uh exe summon into the sprint and uh yes yeah. some things are obviously very similar again and again which is yeah that's the point of combos i guess repeat uh, finding something that works good and repeating it and uh yeah you just have to go into the flow and again any two level twos or anything make sprint and then you see i mean the the advantage that these uh nimble cards like generate for free more or less is just wild anyway we're going to use the gigantic to summon the swap frog swap, swap frog effect send away and then the ice barrier is going to do its work adding the spell then we're going to activate the spell the freezing chains summoning back our what is it, mirror jade or mirror mage and then we're going to overlay these let's do it uh, can also do it here maybe with a bit more space and then we're going to summon the toad that's a cool interaction right gigantic summon the swap frog swap frog does its thing with the ice barrier cards and then we have a toad if you don't need to go into the sprite cards um, with the gigantic if you already have access to them then you can obviously get all kinds of other cool cards out of our rank 2 so and with the sprite starter we have the options here again carrot or red um this combo, for example, didn't use our normal summon, right? It's a two card combo without the normal summon. So there is an option, right? Where you go for, let's say, let's say red. And now you, I don't know, normal summon any level two. And then you could overlay here and go further. You could also say, okay, we're going to stay in the realm of one card combos. We don't care about the red negate, which I mean, I don't really agree. And then you could overlay this and to go into the uh, Melfi stuff. But honestly, the bounce, we already have the sprite bounce. Um, well, about that. So now here at this point, we have not normal summoned yet. So if we have another uh, level two in hand, right? Like uh, any sprite or the IP area or whatever, you can normal summon that and then overlay, go into the Melfi stuff, um, which again, the Melfis are fun and they are okay and they are right and they are good. But the thing is, um, we don't really need that, right? There are bounds. We already have the sprite bounds with either like the gigantic or the toad. Um, so yeah, that doesn't really matter. Actually, screw the gigantic. We're going to link him away. And we're going to go into, well, as always, IP. Uh, this could also be directly SP if you really want to, but it's just, uh, it's just better to go IP into SP. So with this end board, we've improved it a bit. We made toad make uh, the sprint with the bounce we have another monster negate and again we have ip on board the thing is obviously it depends on what your hand is and again this time we didn't use our normal summon at all we could even extend this uh, play way further in theory with the runic cards we also here have uh, like potential access into fountain to like get more runic cards to draw and so on and so on right um if we have starter in hand we can search additional interruption same if we have one of the different uh, sprites in hand, then we can already uh, search another one, right? It doesn't have to be red in hand or, uh, or carrot in hand. If you have blue, all right, we started with blue. If you have jet in hand, for example, then blue can already special summon one of these earlier. And that's the cool thing. You can uh, just get so much more out depending on what your hand is. But the core values of this deck to go into like a sprint bounce, IP, toad, have very easy access into Melfi interactions. And then, right? And then let's not forget that we have a bunch of runic cards with all their interactions as well. On top of that, make a, yeah, make it a very easy board, uh, a very uh, toolboxy deck to play around with, right? You can always put two level twos together to make something beautiful. 
Hope you enjoyed that sprite content right there. And again, if I missed something, if I did uh, something wrong, let me know in the comments down below to um, yeah educate myself and to educate others who still have some other questions. The comment box is there for that. But enough yapping. Take care of yourselves and have a great time. We see each other next time. Bye bye.